the top five things I hate about my Ram, and one bonus one at the end. Whoa! It's fired up, baby. Oh yeah, and if you're a visual learner like me, smash that subscribe button. Welcome to Big Daddy's house. My name's Adam. People are starting to buy used Rams now because they're affordable, uh, which is exactly what I did. I bought a used one, trying to save a little bit of money because who has 50 grand? Well, I don't know. There's plenty of people have 50 grand. I didn't have 50 grand. And a lot of you guys are leaving comments just now purchasing Rams because of the questions that you're asking me. So I'm gonna give you the top five things with a bonus one at the end of what you should be looking for when you buy your Ram. This isn't necessarily a hate video. It's more like an educational video. I'm just trying to give you guys some of the insight that has taken me years to acquire. If I would have known everything I know now, would have I still bought a Ram? Let's just get to the list. I'll try to make this short and sweet. You can guys get all the information you need or enough of it. So at least you can do your own research before you buy your truck. Because even at 15 to 20, 25,000 for a fourth gen Ram, it's big money, man. At least to me it is. Do your own research and investigations, whatnot. Uh, try to make the best decision for yourself. My number one biggest complaint is the Hemi tick. I know this from experience. At 103,000 miles, I acquired this tick. And what the tick is, it's basically a seized up roller that is just smashing against the cam. I have a few videos on, in fact, I have videos on almost all of this that I'm talking about because it's all happened to me. From the comment that I've gotten, it's obviously a known problem for many, many people. You know, people will argue, oh, it's only 1%, blah, 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 whatever. Then there's a lot of one percenters. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I decided to replace the engine with a Jasper engine. So yeah, I could have got away with, you know, just throwing a new cam in, you know, some lifters and then dump the oil and then sold it to somebody else. But I'm not that kind of guy. I put the new engine in 103,000 miles, meaning warranty was over. All the money came out of my own pocket. It was almost $7,000. So I've literally paid for that truck twice now. If you're one of the people watching this looking to buy a Ram, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm basically just trying to say, take it for a test drive, listen to it thoroughly. The Hemi tick sounds like this. Yeah, sometimes it's a lower knocking noise, but if you hear any kind of knock in that engine, just walk away from it. Number two, exhaust leak. A lot of people get this confused with the Hemi tick. It's not the same thing, two totally different things. As a matter of fact, the exhaust leak is far more likely to happen to you than the hemi tick so they say anyways it's happened to me along with the hemi tick but basically what an exhaust leak is is the bolts on the exhaust manifold have been broke off or sheared off if you're one of those people that are good with tools it's something you could definitely do in a day i would probably label it as like a, from a one to ten factor it's probably like a five as far as taking parts off a truck and putting them back on when you start it up in the morning uh, at a cold start, you'll hear like a ticking noise. A little bit is leaking out between the block and the exhaust manifold. Once the truck warms up, the metal expands and it pushes those two pieces of metal together. So the sound gets less and less and less until sometimes you don't even notice it. It just depends on how many bolts you have sheared off. If you have one, you probably won't notice it after it warms up. If you have more than one sheared off, you'll probably notice it throughout the duration of driving. Third thing, rust. Depending on where you live, you know, if you live in California, you're probably not gonna have that many problems with rust. The biggest one for me that I've noticed recently is the bumper. I'll put that up over here. The bumper starts to rust right at the top of it, at the, at the edge. So that's something I'm gonna have to take care of pretty soon before I have to buy a whole new bumper. Luckily for me, I don't have any rust around the wheel wells. Not yet, anyways. So make sure if you're gonna buy a Ram, you get underneath that truck, okay? You look at if it has any rust areas, check the wheel wells, the back bumper should be pretty obvious, but check it and check the straps wrapping the gas tank. Apparently, that's kind of a known problem too. So you wanna make sure that those have been re replaced and they're not all rusted out. Four, safety recalls. 
I can't tell you how many of these things I've gotten. I'm just going to estimate. I've probably got 10 to 12 of these. Safety recall. Now, obviously, I've owned other cars in my life, and I've only received, I think, one when I had my Hyundai. It had something to do with a, a leak or something for the sunroof. But this goes on and on and on and on. So I've had, just off the top of my head, I've gotten safety recalls for cruise control or being able to drive while the door is still open. The lock on the tailgate, the gas tank straps. I just talked about that a little earlier. It's literally a known problem. So those need to be replaced. Could you imagine driving on the freeway and your gas tank straps have rusted out much faster than anything else on the truck and it just drops on the freeway while you're driving? I mean, is that for real? But yet there's no recall for the Hemi tick. Number five on this list, and then I'll get to the bonus number six, the third tail light. So the tail light, the brake light on the cab itself, what happens is water will leak down in there and then it'll just soak the inside of your cab. It's, it's, it's horrible. I had it happen to me like three years ago. I was actually going through a car wash and my daughter was in the back seat and she started screaming and crying. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And she's like, there's water coming in everywhere. And she was like legit terrified. You know, she was like traumatized over it. And I couldn't believe how much water was coming in. I mean, yeah, it wasn't just a normal rain. It was going through a car wash. So you got these jets powering all over the vehicle, but it was some serious water coming in. Finally, number six, this isn't quite like the other five, which is why I just saved it for the end. Cause it's more like just an annoying thing. So I didn't want this to be about a bunch of annoying things because everybody has a video about what annoys them about their car. I mean, the speaker rattles, whatever, you know, those things happen. I'm trying to give you guys like real advice. So that way, when you put down your hard earned money, you can make an executive decision if this is the right decision for you. So number six, the door squeak. <laughs> I've been dealing with this door squeak since I've owned the truck. I did a video on like MacGyvering um, a spacer to put in there, which really worked for probably six months. But after that six months was over, it just it just keeps squeaking. So there, there's a roller that the door rolls on when it opens and closes. And this roller needs to be lubed like every other month. All the other doors are fine. Now, obviously, all the other doors do not get used as much as the driver's door. I don't think I've ever had a car do this. I mean, it's not a 1978 Oldsmobile, you know? It's a it's a fourth generation Ram. So I still haven't found a permanent fix for that. Uh, I'm at a loss, I just keep oiling it. If one of you guys are watching this and you already own a Ram, then put down in the comments if you have figured a way to fix that. And also put down in the comments if you guys have had any of these problems I just listed, one through six, because I'm sure somebody else who is looking to buy a Ram, it'll help them make a decision too. Like how many people have had the Hemi tick, have had the exhaust leak, have had rust issues, have had that third brake light leak, and how many people have that stupid squeak. That's what this is all about, helping people out. So hopefully this did just that.